Hey guys, what's up? This is Elias with the Yes Do It team from the Costa Rican jungle. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to determine whether your content, your video, you know, it's good enough to be posted online or not. Because this is a topic that I've found myself so many times in that, you know, I record a video, I uh, create some type of content, even if it's written, and whenever it's ready or, you know, um, completed to be published, I ask myself, is this is this good enough? Is this have the standard quality to go online or not? And we're going to be determining that in terms of the purpose. What do I mean by that? Well, when you are posting content online, you gotta have a purpose for it. If you don't have a, a plan for it, if you're just posting stuff because, it's just um, a waste of time. Really, you're not going anywhere. And um, if you end up in that line, that, that's going to be very frustrating and you're probably going to end up quitting. So this is what I want to tell you guys about. If you're going to be <clears throat> creating content for making a sale, which is pretty much which every, well, I mean what um, everybody does, uh, you wanna have good quality type of content. What do I mean by good quality? Well. You don't, have, you don't wanna have a, a, a simple shitty video like this one. You wanna have uh, a guy editing that in the background. You wanna have uh, another person uh, making a script for it. You wanna have very good cameras for that uh, recording. And you gotta take, um, you gotta take, you gotta put attention to many different to objects and many different topics that are going to be costing a lot of money and time. So, in terms of making a sale, you have to be thinking about those things because nobody is going to be wanting or willing to buy a product or a service from a company that looks shitty. Uh, if you really uh, wanna, if you really wanna make an impact on people that is watching your ad. Um, you have to have good quality video or good quality content, whatever that, whatever type of format that is. Even Facebook doesn't allow you to post content that is not good enough for an ad. What do I mean by that? Well, the other day I was trying to post an ad online and the format of it wasn't the one that would fit for that specific post. So. When I try to uh, um, go there and promote it, it, Facebook would say this is not good enough. We're not going to be, um, we're not going to allow this to go through because it's really not going to make you an impact on people. So, uh, whenever you have to make a sale and whenever you want to create content with a purpose of having people contact your service and hire your company, you have to think about all of those things. However. And this is the good part. If you really wanna just create content because you have something valuable to say, like right now, I think this is content that will really make an impact if you're uh, working in the same type of industry that I am, which is uh, internet marketing. If you really want um, to grow your audience and you have a message to say and you have it, you know, ready, it's in your mind and you have it right there, you don't have to have great cameras, you don't have to have a great set, you don't have to have an awesome background, you just have to have the idea that you want to talk about and the courage to get in front of the camera, like I said in the uh, previous video, and just do it, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter if the quality of that video is not the best because people are going to be watching it because of the content of it, because of what you're saying, because of uh, everything that they are learning from the video that you are creating. So that's uh, pretty much it. That's how I determine whether this content is going to be posted online or not. And before I decide that, I have to uh, know what's the purpose of the content that I'm creating. So that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.